Saul Canelo Alvarez mm-hmm. defeats Jaime Munguia. Better fight than what I thought. Yeah. Jaime Munguia was definitely game. Yeah. Dropped him in the fourth. Unanimous decision. What's your thoughts? I mean, he took you to school. Young boy, you my young boy. I ain't going to beat you up too bad, but I'm going I'm, to I'm show you what this shit hit for at this level. Mm-hmm. So if you're going to level up, this is what it's going to be like. Mm-hmm. Um, Canelo knew that uh, he knew that uh, Jaime Munguia was strong. He didn't know he was that strong. So, so, so he he kind of got Canelo in his bag a little early with that uppercut. I mean, Canelo ain't probably won't pull that out until like the seventh. Like, oh, you making now you making me use my shit. I don't mm. feel like all that right now. So when he put that on him, I mean, he 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 buzzed him with the shot. But I felt like Canelo carried him for sure. I mean, he ain't break him up too bad. He broke him up a little bit, but not damaging. Him. You know what I mean, he ain't have him fucked up for life. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He put a small pack on him and left it at that. Like, I mean, I mean, I ain't going to go crazy on you. Terrence Crawford said that, too. He said he felt like he carried him. Yeah, he could have got real nasty in there. He carried him, though. He did. That's my young boy. He next up. I ain't going to crush him. Pass the torch in a different way. He did the first him. couple of rounds, did it surprise you the success that Jaime Munguia was having? No, nah, nah, because at the end of the day, right, Jaime Munguia got a world-class coach. In his corner. First of all, you think what you want about Freddie Roach. He's real. Freddie Roach, real deal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, especially if you're listening. Freddie Roach, real deal. And then, Jaime Munguia is a young horse. He's the, he is what Canelo was when he fought Floyd. You know what I'm saying? When Canelo fought Floyd, Floyd had to show him what it's hitting for. Him. You got to really be able to think at a high level. Mm. That's what this is right here. Same fight. Same fight. But Floyd ain't carry Canelo. He just... Canelo was just too big to be going in there and knocking out. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm not saying Jaime's sweet, but Jaime, you know what I'm saying? Jaime a little more a little more sloppy, but he still made a good stop. Big sturdy kid, big strong kid. Not just anybody going to sit him down. You know what I'm saying? What's the logical move for each fighter next? Logical move for uh, Canelo, I'm hearing that it might be him in Berlanga in September. So that's not bad. It's logical because we do know Berlinga. He not the one we want to see, but it's logical because guess what? He a young horse. He go another one. I'm gonna beat him up too, or I'm gonna school him too. So, and Canelo gonna do Canelo numbers. Cinco de Mayo was on fire. Um, I even went out and got some margaritas. Um, <laughs> um, Jaime Munguia, he just need a good dub. Uh, I seen somebody posted him and uh, him and my man. It's my man from upstate. Uh, Bubo. Him and Bubo, that's a good fight. It's a good joke. It's a good fight. It's a lot of wreck. It's a lot of wreck at 68 for real. But 68 ain't making no noise because these dudes ain't making no noise. They just making something happen, but they bullshitting on the on the on the on the promoting part. So we don't understand how much wreck it is at 68, but it's a lot of wreck at 68. You know what I mean? They could be getting it in, but you know. You had the uh Javante Davis Frank Martin press conference uh the same day as Canelo and um, Jaime Wade. Canelo and, yeah, and Jaime. Yeah. Uh, Tank kind of tried, he tried to press Frank. Yeah. No, he did. He pressed him at the press conference. Yeah. And then Frank got back at the Gillian Wallow press conference. That's how I feel. What, what's your thoughts? Is that to get in Frank's head? Is that and to me, see if he'll curve? And, and me and you about to fight. And me, you about to fight. We got a date. And I get all up on you. I'm trying. I'm trying to fill you out like a snake. That's how a snake do you. A snake, they chill with you before they go ahead and kill you. Mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, a snake, a snake come over your crib and eat with you before he kill you. you know what I'm saying, a snake move, slide all up on you, act like he whispering. No, let me show you the tape. Point in your face. Keep playing with you. Keep having these little. You know what I'm saying? Tank, tank doing what he's supposed to do though. He, I gotta make the. I gotta make these dudes see. Me as like something larger than life. I'm 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 the meanest thing in boxing, so y'all not about to play with me. That's how he got to carry it. But Frank should have let him know we ain't having it. Like you know I'm saying, we not don't get close to me at all. I don't want to be close. To you. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to see what's in your phone. None of that. We, we got a date. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think early on in the day when they first had the press conference and all that, Frank Frank was like still waking up. Frank still like trying to see what's up. You know what's up already. Now, by the time they get to Gilly and Wallow, I think he already, he, he like, man, I know, all right, I'm on. But that's the thing you can't do. You can't get turned on with Tank. You got to be turned on already. You got to be already on. 
When you get in that ring, you can't be on some, I wonder what he gonna do. It's Tank. You know what he trying to do. He trying to line you so he can blow your fucking head off. You know what I'm saying? Let's be real. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, Frank, uh, Frank did a good job on the second joint, but Tank did a great job on the um, first press conference. You know what I mean? Do you think he got Frank mad in the first press conference? He had him frustrated. Yeah, he was like, Frank, like, ain't know what to think, like. And then he goes, was playing with him. Yeah, then, team playing. then he goes over, <laughs> and when Frank's doing interviews, and he <laughs> yeah, staying next to Frank. Yeah, he having a good time. Yeah, he just having fun. He understand uh, this shit is the build up, and we gonna get to the money. Frank at the same time, everything riding on it, cause Frank, this could change Frank life. So Frank, like, man, yeah, I'm really trying to, but you can't get all caught up in your head. If this what you really want to do, you gotta understand what it is. See, they get caught up in the promoting part. No, we ain't promoting nothing. It's, it's a rumble. If, if, if I go ahead and back you the fuck up on me, that's enough promotion right there. Mm -hmm. Don't get too close to me. Go ahead. Because we get ready to fight. Now, they, they don't make fighters like that no more. But, you know what I'm saying? Tink understand that. He, you know what I'm saying? But that's what, if you look at it, Derek James, I don't know Derek James. I don't know what he get in Texas. Get into in Texas. I can't say what he is. Not. But, oh, hey, uh, uh, Kenny and them. Kenny and Calvin. You know what I'm saying? I know where they're from. And I know where they're from because they're from my side of town. You know what I'm saying? I'm not from Baltimore, but they from the East Coast. I don't know how shit look in Texas, but I know on the East Coast, I know the kind of shit that get pushed to these young boys. So they, they school anymore how to press on it. You know what I'm saying? At the same time, Derrick James like, man, we gonna get ready. Like, I ain't with all that. Derrick James more like on the finesse tip. Like, man, we gonna get ready. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? He ain't with all the extra shit. But that's all it is. But the extra shit play a part because if Frank buy all the way into it, is he is either gonna have him worried or is he even gonna have him too excited? You know what I'm saying? When he gets in the ring. How should Frank handle their interaction going forward? He got paid no mind. You got you got paid no mind. You can't you can't let him know that you're listening. If you listen to Tank, yeah, he'll talk you out of your whole situation. He'll talk you out of everything. Tank will make you tank, tank wants you to believe he can call. You know what I'm saying? He wants you to believe, like, he Optimus Prime. Like, he, I'm the biggest, baddest motherfucker around. Like, you know what I'm saying? But you, as a fighter, you can't think that about another man because then they already conquered your mind. So once you conquered your mind, body and soul after that, shit over. You already know how it go. G, last night, I think it might have been at Fountain Blue or Club Live, one of, one of them spots. Yeah. Uh, Dev... And Tank had a run in. Yeah. Uh, I guess Dev was unwinding. Tank, you know, I'm thinking Tank's, you know, in camp. I don't know. Did he go to the club to chill or did he go up there because he knew Dev was going to be up there? Yeah. They got into a little altercation. Of course, it's hunted security around in between them and whatnot. What'd you make of that? I mean, it's more, it's more showmanship. You know what I mean, it's more, it's more algorithm tapping into. You know what I mean? They, it, it, it's more build up. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, you know this fight not going to happen because y'all not scheduled to fight. You already fighting Frank. Mm. But I'm going to go at Dev because Dev is a wounded enemy right now. You know what I'm saying? Imagine if you you in the woods, you hungry, and you see a motherfucking deer that's already half you. All right, y'all. You see a deer that's already half you. He half shot. You know what I mean? He shot in his leg and he limping. That's easy. That's easy money. That's how you looking at it. So... Dev, you know what I'm saying? Dev just got to let it be known it ain't that. But that's all that was. More build up. It's just more, I mean, Tank, Tank, trying, to, Tank trying to paint the aura that he's a maniac. Ryan, Ryan wanted us to believe he was ill in the mind. He was sick. I mean, something wrong with him. He talking about all this crazy shit. We don't know if he's telling the truth or not. Tank want us to believe he the biggest, craziest motherfucker out here right now. He, he, more, he more insane than any man. That's what he trying to make us believe. <laughs> you know what I mean? And some niggas, and some niggas don't get it because, you know what I'm saying, you ain't, they ain't never went through nothing. I'm not saying Dev and them don't get it, but I'm just saying when you went through something, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to tell you why it's all playing around. Because all these security guards and shit, that shit is just playing around. You know what? I know you're not about to do nothing because ain't nobody trying to start nothing. 
Ain't nobody really trying to go to jail. Ain't nobody really trying to get hurt. That shit with Tupac and them and all that Biggie shit and all that, that shit real. All them shootings and shit, that shit, that shit really happened. They not trying to go out like that. That shit that happened with Cuz from the Migos and all that, that shit be, that shit be really happening. They not trying to have no shit like that happen for real, for real. Know why? Cause they getting too much money. You get, y'all, y'all be too stupid motherfuckers to, to go out there and kill each other or, or That's a hundred million dollar fight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so to me, it's all games. It's all games. And it might be more with Turkey involved. Yeah. It's, it's, it, it, it's all games to but me. The, I mean, the fans really get wrapped up in yeah, it. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I told you. Uh, that yeah. was scared. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take one, try to do nothing. Yeah. It's like, yo, come on. Okay, imagine somebody, they, they bugging out. They start sitting and they go, pussy, back the fuck up. They pull out a gun and say, it's too much. I'm like, so it ain't nothing like that about to go down. Ain't no fist fight about to go down. Ain't nothing about to go down. It's just a bunch of motherfuckers playing it out. But you can't tell. Cause Tick doing all the moving around, yeah. Then you look at Dev, Dev like he trying, he trying to say something, but he, you know what I'm saying? He trying to get in the wheel at the same time. Or when Tank got niggas stopped at the door, he bouncing up and down on his toes, like he making it look like, you know what I'm saying? Oh shit, like you know what I'm saying? It's all a movie though, bro. It's all a movie. Trust me, I tell you. Trust me. They'll be stupid. The man just said when Gillian Wallow, listen, when I was in jail, I got time to think about who I really want to be outside of this shit and. Do I want to walk around like a knucklehead or do I want to be a, a good father to my daughter and all that? He thinking about that. He not trying to fuck up no money. Mm. But we going to get more money acting crazy. And Ryan just showed that you, that shit worked when you act crazy. But take taking a different route. Ryan was like a, um, Ryan, what's they call that when you be like 302 a motherfucker? He, he was acting like a nut. Like when he was like, you want to put him in a crazy home. But Tank trying to act like a villain, like super villain. Like, you know what I'm saying? He run up on motherfuckers saying shit, doing shit. But ain't nothing really gonna turn out of it. You know what I mean? Nothing crazy gonna turn out of it. They'll be stupid. Do that. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no money in beefing for real. And real beef ain't no money in that. Yo, cuz, congratulations. Thank you, brother. Uh-huh. How you feel out there? Good, good. Mm-hmm.